Welcome to Claude Lynn's Arena for the final match of round eight. And Adina, it was a thriller to finish the magic, getting one up over the steel in just the final uh, seconds of the match. Their second win of the season. How did you view that one? Oh, look, I just wanted to hug Sam <laughs> Winder. She was so excited to get the win. And as you see, just the second of the season, the last one came pre-lockdown. So they really deserved it. They really nailed some of those critical moments that we had been saying they hadn't quite got to. So great win for the Waikato. And Sammy Winder's their captain and she really stood up for her team. But MVP tonight was Edna Makaidi and she was strong for them on defence. She was, and we've talked about the fact that we're used to seeing her at goal keep, but I'm thinking she's starting to love this position at goal defence. She can get out there, she can roam, she can look for ball, and her combination with Georgia Tong has been really building each match, so it's good to see these two come out, get a lot of ball and a lot of opportunities for the Magic. I agree with you. Great to see the combination between her and Tong. Well, someone who was uh, outstanding for the steal tonight and is just a workhorse is Gina Crampton. Yeah, look, her vision, we've spoken about it a lot. She just has that radar into the circle and it was challenging at night because Edina and Tong were getting in front of that ball but it was good to see how Penny again she creates those good options for her feeders and great to see Saunders out there we were a bit worried after that game on Saturday that she had tweaked that neck but that um, Saunders and Gina Crampton combination is looking good good for the Silver Ferns as well. It sure is well if we look at the stats and you can see only one point in it the Magic actually had more attempts than the Steel but what else stands out to you Adeen? Yeah, it's a hard one, isn't it? Because everything is so close. But probably those turnovers, the uh, Magic just had a few less turnovers, which meant they came away with just that little bit of an extra edge. But what I liked about the shooting, there were some good stats, but also the amount of shots everyone was taking. Keanu Palacio, not as many, but she only made a brief appearance. So good to see McCollins as well, 91%, 20 from 22. Not quite sure why she got taken off at one point, but she played well. I agree with you. Well, if we look at round eight, the tactics started with a win in front of their home crowd down at Horncastle with one of the biggest or the biggest crowd in the ANZ Premiership with over 5,000. The Stars backed up up against the Steel in Auckland and got the win there. Uh, the Tactics, they got a win over the Magic here for the doubleheader on Sunday. Magic just unlucky, couldn't uh, get consolidate in those crucial moments of the game and the Pulse getting their first loss of the season against the Mystics. The Mystics will be happy with that one and their young shooter in Grace and Wecker. And then Magic tonight, their first win since lockdown. They are going to be very happy here in the Mighty Waikato. Well, this is where it gets all serious. The Pulse are at the top, but the race to second place, you've got the Tactics and the Mystics just sitting there amongst each other. Who's going to win while well, they face off next weekend against each other? Then they'll also play the Pulse. But Adeen, we'll leave here. We're out in the regions, but we're going to leave Claudelands. We're going to leave Hamilton with the Magic. They got the win over the steal by 1.37 to 36. The ANZ Premiership was proudly brought to you by ANZ.